Just 10 days, the two and a half year long moratorium on federal student loan payments is scheduled to end. It's been extended six times before though, so is a seventh extension in the works or might something else happen? Well, on Meet the Press this weekend, the U.S. Secretary of Education said that a student loan announcement will come in the next week or so. And that's leaving millions of people guessing on whether or not we'll see another extension, maybe some student loan forgiveness, or possibly both. As summer winds down, a deadline looms. Thinking about student loans just puts some anxiety on you. Charles Lottie is one of tens of millions of Americans with student debt. Here in New York State, the Fed says there are 2.7 million student loan borrowers with a median balance of more than 18 grand. Only eight states and D.C. are higher. Because of the pandemic, federal payments have been paused since March 2020. It gave me a lot of um, relief. Others decided to keep repaying their loans. Work was still being good for me, so might as well just keep paying it. The pause is set to expire August 31st, still with no official announcement on what's next. We have high inflation, couple that with people not making student loan payments for over two years. They're not factoring into their budget. It's kind of out of sight, out of mind. So it'd be very difficult uh, to make the decision to restart them. And whenever that decision is made, we would expect much more than a two week notice. David Carlson, author of Student Loan Solution, says loan servicers are required to give borrowers a heads up at least six times before resuming repayments. But we haven't been seeing those, which indicates that the administration is very, very likely to extend this repayment pause. The president could also announce a decision on widespread student loan forgiveness. Mr. Biden has supported for giving $10,000 per borrower. The progressive Democrats would like to see that bumped up to 50,000. Intense pressure on him and his administration to do some sort of broad scale student loan forgiveness. The politics are tricky. A new CNBC poll shows a majority of Americans are now concerned that student loan forgiveness will make inflation worse. And opponents say it would be unfair to those who already paid off their loans. For many Americans, if you didn't like working to pay off your student loan, wait until you're forced to pay off someone else's. Congressional Republicans recently hosted a special meeting blasting loan forgiveness. It featured a fellow from the American Enterprise Institute who called the plan misguided. The cancellation would erase billions of dollars of balances for student borrowers and essentially reassign that debt to taxpayers, whether they went to college or not. There is simply no economic justification for this sort of policy intervention. But supporters like Charles, people are struggling, I'm struggling, say it would be life changing and allow them to better contribute to the overall economy. Am I ever going to own a home? You know, am I ever going to leave something for uh, my kid or kids? It's a burden on your mind. And again, the total student loan debt now tops $1.75 trillion nationwide. If you owe part of that, the expert that we heard from in that story says that you do have some options. For example, there is the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Limited Waiver. It expands relief for people who work as public servants. But those who qualified need to get that paperwork in before October 31st. So something else to check out.